Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game, we have some pretty huge updates today. First off, we have a fan favorite car getting an Evo version, this being the Bavette Evo. And then we also have the Hammer A1 vehicle, which you can earn, that's a weekly. And they've added a brand new garage, this being the Skyscraper Garage, and this is the first to come out after the big garage update. And this is gonna be the last week to earn the Emperor if you haven't already, that being this car right here. And to start off, I wanted to show the garage, this being the Skyscraper Garage, and it's currently $25 million. And for now, I'm just gonna use the resources I have now. This is probably gonna take me a while to complete but i want to do a stream where i can grind the materials with you guys and unlock the garage with you so hopefully i'll be able to do that tomorrow but let's just upgrade some of this stuff for now this car spot and those all cost gold and there's also some stuff in here like this aquarium right here that costs money instead of these resources or gold which is good because then it forces you to get all these different materials instead of just one type there's another fish tank and another reminder this is something you'll do over months so if you don't have enough gold or enough materials just know that it's not supposed to complete it right away and i believe that's the first level done these car spots up here are actually 50 gold and then I'm guessing the next level is even more expensive. Now, I guess I go down. Into here. This is where it gets super expensive. 300 wood for this one upgrade. 37 for some of these. And I've run out of wood. And I still have a lot of steel, but I'm guessing it's going to force me to upgrade that room before I can do the third level. If there is a third level, maybe there isn't a third level. Maybe it's just stuff in here. Uh, there isn't more steel stuff that I can get in here, so I'm just going to have to work on wood. And here you can see outside, uh, I don't think this is the same spot. If we go into free cam, it's just kind of like a less detailed version of the map. I'm not exactly sure which building it's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be this one. It looks like this one but i don't know it doesn't really make sense if you go out here you can see it it's definitely not that building uh so hopefully they're able to kind of like add this building into somewhere because that would definitely be better than how it is like this i feel but this overall looks super cool and here we have the bavette evo and here are the customizations on it And also with the Bavette Evo, we get these special rims which are in the pack. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're called though. And if you're getting the Bavette Evo, I recommend using the stock engine. And for the gearbox, I think the seven speed is the best. It says it gives plus nine miles per hour, but I don't really know how accurate this stuff is. But here we are and if we drive this thing, this thing actually has a super fast acceleration and it can go about 340 miles per hour. And on three force drag, the normal Bavette can get around 11.2 seconds. Seconds. And the Bavette Evo also gets pretty much the exact same time. I don't think there's really any difference here. And for a top speed race like Speed Avenue, the Bavette Evo will get a 49 second time. Again, here the times are almost identical. And what it seems like to me, the Bavette Evo is more of a race car, so it's better on tracks as it has a lot of downforce. And I don't really know what the normal Bavette is really better at it then. So the Bavette Evo might just be better in every way possible, but the stats are extremely similar. As if you check the stats here, they both both are 2,500 pounds, both 1,820 horsepower, and the Bavette only beats the Bavette Evo by one mile per hour. So really, if you're wanting to buy the other, if you already have one, it won't really matter since they are both basically the exact same car. You'll only want to get it if you're a collector and like the rims or if you like the livery on this Bavette Evo. And with that, we have new weekly quests and to start off, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. For the first part right here, you'll want to go over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And right on this path, you'll see the part. For the second part on this bridge, you'll want to go over to the race tunnel sprint right here. And you'll see it right here. For the third part right here in the desert, you'll want to go over to this trailer delivery spot right here.
And right here in between the rocks, you'll see the part. For the next part inside of the gas station, you'll want to go over to the trailer spot here. And you'll see it right in here. And for the last part in the city, you'll want to go over to this trailer spot right here. And you'll see it down here. And with that, let's complete the rest of these weekly quests so we can check out this, uh, where, uh, uh, there, the, oh, it doesn't even have the name in here. I think it's a uh, Hammer A1. And there we go, we got 80 points, so now we can finally claim the Hammer A1. And here are the customizations on it. One other thing, if you go into promo codes and put in the code 375k likes, you'll get a brand new wrap. And here's what it looks like. So if you like that, you can earn it now and it's free, so you might as well. And with that being said, I think that's going to be it in this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update. And hopefully I'll be able to stream tomorrow. <laughs>